Hey there what this is Parkinson Shockwave. Today I'm doing a commentary on this special matchup between Shironui and Dino Miss. Uh, this is actually a matchup that I had planned to use for our sneak peek during the uh, Bosch sneak peek weekend. But uh, I couldn't get the Shironui card in time so we had to do the uh, bus blade instead. So um, as you know I did play the Dino Miss on but again I'm playing the deck again. Uh, Again, I have Larry, who actually is playing the Shirunui because he was very interested in the uh, new support that uh, came with it uh, during our sneak peek weekend, and he has some crazy ideas to play with the deck. So, uh, first, Larry did summon his card trigger, try to mill uh, some good uh, graveyard effects, but unfortunately, he did mill two out of three of his uh, new Shirunui trap card, which is act like an Icarus attack as well as a. Um, a beneficial benefit effect where you can just banish one of your Shunui cards and then you can just uh, for like uh, if you banish Shunui um, was the Spirit Master you're able to destroy it again so it was he called it like a fire lake uh, in for the Shunui uh, archetype but as you can see right here I did go with my Cyber Dragon Infinity play uh, just so I can just um, take his card trooper because I didn't really want him to draw and uh, not really knowing that trap card he just milled uh, it's a very problematic card against a deck that used pendulum scales so as you can see I did massive damage to him and on his next turn he did summon his Mizuki to attack over uh, one of my dynamis cards so uh, it's my turn he put down a face down which it was it scares me a bit uh, that he had a back row support at all, especially when he has a zombie to tribute. Uh, so uh, I was wondering if, um, if he's baiting me out here for, with his uh, set back card. So first, I played my Dino Rush trap card. Uh, this allowed me to special summon any of my Dynamis monsters from my deck to the field, but uh, it's destroyed at the end of the turn. But while that monster is face up, uh, that monster has the fill grant effect built into it. And if you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, uh, Felgrand just choose one monster, that monster's uh, effects is negated, but uh, it's not unaffected by anything else uh, on the field, but just in case, uh, it's just unaffected by anything else on the field, it can still use its effect. So I'm gonna activate my Infinity's effect to absorb that Mizuki, but he's gonna chain with his trap card to try to blow up two of my cards, and I'm gonna negate it, but and Larry did have the effect feather in his hand, so he did have uh, ways to get around my Cyber Dragon affinities, uh, no matter how you want to see it, because I can just easily just go into my battle phase and just to avoid the effect feather, but he could just easily just activate it right before I enter the battle phase and then activate the trap card afterwards. Uh, so now he's gonna banish one Shunui card, uh, monster to be more specific, from his uh, deck. So usually he could use the uh, Spirit Master, but I don't have any other cards that he can destroy because again, my uh, Dynamis Rex is unaffected by the uh, any kinds of effects for the turn. So Larry banished his Shunui Spiritual Sword with the effect of that trap card. Uh, this is, has the effect while in the graveyard, you're able to banish uh, that card and another zombie card in the grave and then you single summon into a monster that uh, has the combined level of the two monsters that was banished. This is a great card to play if you want to bring out the other uh, zombie synchro monsters such as the Doom Kaiser Dragon or the Archfiend Zombie Skull. Great cards to play when you want to play with the uh, zombie uh, support. So now Larry is going to summon his uh, Spirit Master which is going to inflict me for 1500 and then end his turn. On my turn, I was able to draw into my Dynamis card. Uh, this is basically the tanky of the deck and has the secondary effect where any of my Dynamis card that's sent to the extra deck face up, I'm able to add one of those cards uh, back to my hand. It was a great card if you just want to uh, set up your pendulum scales again. And it's a great way to recycle some of your uh, scales effect uh, because 3 and 6, no matter what, they're, it, they had to destroy the card itself to order to act the effect which it prevents destruction or targeting you know, of any of your dynamis cards. So, a uh, great card to have and now from here I'm gonna set up my uh, pendulum scales, the 2 Brachion that's in my hand. So I'm playing the 2 
Archeons so I can play my Wavering Eyes that I already had set for a couple of turns now. This way I'm able to search out any of my Dynamis monsters and then thanks to the Dynamis Charge effect I'm able to act one of the Brachions that I sent there uh, back to my hand. So again performing a set of scales for me to perform my Pendulum Summon. This way I can try to do enough damage to uh, get game here and move on to game 2. So as you can see I was just comp contemplating of what I needed to uh, get uh, opposite scales to perform that pendulum summon so I uh, I just had just stuck with my um, the choice my first choice with the pterodactyl uh, and now since I have the two cards that I need in my hand and I know that Larry doesn't have any more of the, that of that trap card to destroy my pendulum scales I'm gonna perform my pendulum summon from here so I'm gonna pendulum summon my three monsters back to the field, but on response to the summon, Larry did have the trend distribute. But I'm gonna use one of my pendulum scales effect, which says uh, whenever my pendulum monsters or dynamis cards are being destroyed, you can destroy this card instead. So uh, from there, I can actually attack the record without any worries. And now we're gonna go to game two, which Larry's gonna start out first. And Larry opened up pretty good for his opening hand, so he's gonna play the Foolish Burial. This way, he can send Unizombie to the grave. If you don't know much about Unizombie, Unizombie has two effects, and it's a key essential when you're playing a Shurinui based deck. And so, he's gonna play the Field Card that by discarding one card from his hand, he's able to special summon one zombie monster from the grave with zero defense. And he only activate that if he controls no monster on the field. So Unizombie has two effects, which uh, the first effect is that you can discard one zombie monster from your hand to gain one level. And you can send one zombie monster from your deck to the grave to gain another level. Uh, and this has an effect where it has to restrict you from only attacking with zombie monster for the rest of the turn. But that doesn't matter just because he just sent his Mizuki to the grave, allowing to use the effect to special summon his Smith uh, onto the field and synchro summon into his Omega Lord. Uh, this is a great card for him to actually start off first because it really questioned, questioned my plays and what to need to do from this part. Uh, and as you can see from my hand, I have no way to get rid of the Omega. And from looking at his setup right now, uh, Activating Smith's effect when it's sent to the graveyard through a synchro summon uh, material, you're able to search for any streaming card and add it from your hand. Uh, this is a great way for him to actually start out for his first turn because he's just going to summon his uh, uh, Spirit Master, special summon the Smith from the grave, and then set the Shunui trap card down. And from there, uh, there's not really much I can do, and so he used Omega's effect to send that Mizuki back to the grave so he can actually use the effect again the next turn and really I had to scoop at this turn because uh, not only that this uh, the, the camera did uh, end it pretty quickly from that point but there was no way I could get around it like I did didn't have much option to go around uh, against his uh, his his field advantage so now game 3 again I um, I decided to go second, hopefully to get more cards to get the more Cyber Dragon Infinity play, or even uh, an o uh, more potential OTK uh, kind of situation. But Larry did start out with a uh, huge back roll support, and he surprised me with the anti spell fingers, which uh, is a thing right now that he loves to play just because that. With Pepe Pei being the top tier deck as of now, it's a great way to just counter their plays, especially if you want to go first. So he does tech in the anti spell fragrance uh, for majority of his decks. Uh, now, for me, I don't really have much place to get around it, and especially uh, my first objective is just to get rid of that anti spell fragrance because it's annoying, and with you playing a pendulum based deck, uh, you can't really play your pendulum scales at all. Uh, so it really does hinder the decks a lot. So from here, um, I'm going to play my Dynamis Charge, hopefully to add a crucial card for me to uh, get over the Anti-Spell Fragrance. But he does have his Swallow Slash Trap card to destroy uh, my Dynamis Charge and my Face Down Upstart Goblin. Now he's going to banish his Spirit Master from his deck, activate the effect to destroy my second Policios. Uh, there's not really much I can do at this point, so uh, I really am 
a more worse situation than I was before. And so I'm contemplating of using my Institution that I already had face down in the field, uh, just so I can exceed into my Castell and get rid of that anti-spell fragrance. So uh, unfortunately, I don't have any monsters in my graveyard to uh, bring out with the Northern's effect. So the only card I have face down is the uh, second Dynamis Charge. And so from there, I'm gonna attack directly and end my turn. With that, Larry's gonna draw. As you can see, he does have the face down uh, field card. Uh, still contemplating if he wants to activate it. But I guess he's just gonna summon his unit zombie, activating the effect to uh, Foolish Burial. So he sent his Goblin Zombie knowing that he does have the Mizuki R in the grave so he's going to use that effect to special summon his Goblin Zombie. So he's going to use those two monsters he has on the field to single summon into his Omega. Uh, this is just a problematic card against me as of now because I'm at a great disadvantage against it. And now since he single summoned uh, his Goblin Zombie he's able to search out any zombie monsters from his uh, deck to his hand. Uh, so he does add the Mizuki, and from there he's going to use Omega's effect to banish my one uh, remaining card in my hand, the Wavering Eyes, which uh, not really much uh, card to be played as of now, so it doesn't really gain me any real advantage uh, having it banished or having it in my hand nonetheless. So Larry activated his field card, discarding that Mizuki just added to his hand to special summon his uh, Spirit Master onto the field. From there, he's gonna banish his Mizuki again, activating the effect to special summon his Goblin Zombie, and now activating his Swallow Style Slash. Uh, this way, he can destroy my two remaining cards uh, for him to banish his Spiritual Sword again, and then use Goblin Zombie's effect to add the uh, Smith to his hand. Uh, realizing he couldn't summon again just because he already did uh, summon in the beginning of his turn using the Unit Zombie, uh, he's gonna just attack directly. Uh, from there, just gonna end his turn. And right now, it doesn't look good on my side of the field. I have no cards in my field, as well as no cards in my hand, and there's nothing really I can top deck to really save me. What I did draw was a Rescue Hamster, which could have been a great card to top deck if I didn't draw into my two Policials already. Uh, so right now, I have a dead card in my hand. Another dead card is about to add it back to my hand, so it's pretty much game from here. So that's pretty much in the matchup. Larry's gonna get that Omega back to the side of the field on his turn, and he has that Smith already in his hand uh, that could bring more possibilities to for him to make some single plays if he wanted to. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see the deck profile of the Shinui deck, uh, let me know and I'll track down Larry and get that deck profile as soon as possible. And if you want to see the Dynamis deck profile, it's already up on the channel. Uh, I don't have much changes to make uh, after the announcement of the uh, Justice list, which I thought it was a very surprising move on Konami's part, getting a lot of the problematic cards of Pepe and even the outs to uh, getting into your Infinity Cyber Dragon. But that's pretty much it for the video. This is Parking Team Shockwave, signing out.